Hello and welcome to my channel Click to Express and in this video we'll be going through this, uh, the basic steps after installation in ClickSense. Okay, so as I showed you that we have created the application, now I'm going to show you how to, you know, create a connection and uh, then uh, what are the, I'll walk you through the uh, bits and pieces of it. Okay, so fine. Uh, first of all, if if you want to, in, you know, create a, a new connection, what you have to do is, I'm showing here the folder connection. The other connection I'll be showing you in the next session. Okay. So suppose I want to show, or I have stored a file in my local. This is my file where I have I've stored it. So you can go obviously go over here. What you can do is go to the application, click all files, give the path over there and press enter so now you it is directly going to the path where you have stored your flat files i'm just giving here name as s-o-u-r-c source files okay so it's gonna st create that connection over here so you can see that connection is created over here obviously you can go and edit the connection if you want to do it so now you can go to the next tab also to load a table so it's good practice to separate the data based on your tab so i'm going and taking the employee excel so select that file and i'm taking the sheet one from there this is my table okay so, so i have loaded it over here i just want to give some names i'm giving a name as M -E -M -P colon. okay so if you want to give some space and like employee table so what you have to do is you have to put it in square bracket okay so it's very important it applies to everything like even if you want to give a name to this uh a department as like department number d e p t number so then you have to give a square bracket if you having anything with a space you have to give it in within a square bracket or double quotes okay like how it is over here so then you can reload the data what's going to happen is the data will get reloaded over here so once the data is reloaded you can obviously see the table view of it so if you click over here this square place it's going to show you or open the tab here itself. If you want to open the tab in the uh, uh, in the second tab, if you want to open this, so you can click here and it will open in the second tab. So you can see the tab or uh, the uh, the data you have loaded. You will see it in the table view over here. Okay. So yeah, very well. So if I click here, you can see the data which you have loaded over here. Okay. I'm going back to this and then you can open the hub as well so if you want to open the hub obviously you can open the hub and check what is the data been loaded so sorry the application has been created so these are my application which is being created it is directly going to the hub for me so fine so that's not the place i want to go now so in, in app view, overview overview also if i click here it will gonna shift me to the next tab and show me how uh, so we can create a small application so i have already created this test, test page over here what you can do is click on this plus button create a new sheet so i'm just giving the name as say create sheet 2 and press enter obviously you can go here and uh, you know edit the sheet so i'm just opening the sheet for me fine to edit the sheet you have to go here and edit it okay so i'll go to the, the these are the uh, fields which is present in my current uh, uh, table or the data i have loaded so these are the master items which i'll be discussing in the next session here you will see all the charts needs to be created <coughs> sorry you have custom objects which we'll be discussing in the next session so i'll just show you how to create a like uh, just to show you what is the table we have loaded i'm just simply loading a table just drag and drop over here select select this i'm selecting country and a measure so i'm going here country wise sum of my salary okay so that is how you can load the data and see to, to change the app uh, name you have to you can see this three dots you can click over here edit the name over here so i'm editing the name as as like uh so like um, some the first application okay and then saving it obviously you can go to this place there will be a button coming over here since i have already loaded this uh, this image so it is not coming here so you can go to settings 
click on that i'm sorry you have to uh to, to change this you have to go to edit this you can see this there is a small image section coming over here click this go to default uh you will be seeing all the images scrolled over here so how how this image comes in your desktop version you go here uh in your uh, in your documents click sense and then in the uh, contents you will see there is a default folder and here you will see all the application which is being uh, sorry all the images being stored so if you even if you want to store any other image you can put uh, uh, copy and paste it over here and can probably use it and in the server version you have to push it in your Q qmc mm, uh, to a certain uh, certain location or also there will be an option coming over here to drag and drop the uh, image directly from your local okay so that is your server version uh, this is our desktop version and this is how you have to store the image okay so go to default so i'm going to this image i'm storing again just insert the image it's going to be inserting over here correct that's all so now if you want to change the styling of something suppose i want to give a image in the back end suppose i want to give an image here as well so i'll just go here take the same image okay so i'm just taking inserting the same image so it's going to come over here okay and then i want to give a background of it so you can see the background i have given you can change the theme also based on your requirement okay that is what you can do the change with your background okay so then you can obviously click over here go back to the session uh that's all uh in the front end you can do if i go to back end so the this button will add up up to different uh, tabs uh that go to analysis will nothing uh it will move to you to the uh, what you call the front end of it obviously if you want to create a story you have to go here so all these things we'll be discussing in the next session thank you for watching this video have a nice day